Spurs haven't been great. I know obviously they're dependent on the counter attack. Leicester have been the better team, but I look at Spurs again the last week and I'm going back. It's like Spurs in the old days. We're giving, we're giving them lots of credit. We're saying Marino sorted them out. They've given a crazy goal away. They conceded laid on against Liverpool, set play. They don't hang on against Crystal Palace. They're going back to the old Spursy way. I regret the day, you know, I didn't smile every time I was on the pitch because it's such an unbelievable. What, what, are, you, what are you looking at there, Roy? <laughs> I never like players who smile at the pitch. <laughs> too relaxed. Football isn't fun, Roy. <laughs> no, no, no. You're there to win, remember? Is yeah, it... we, we can, you can win, but you can have a smile on your face. No, not for me. <laughs> it's a place of work. Who would you rather play for? Pep or Club? Question, Micah. Yeah, how long have I got? <laughs> I probably wouldn't want to play for any of them because that means I'd have to play for Liverpool or Man City. Which, which wouldn't shoot me. They'll say Leeds today will have a go at United. They'll go toe to toe. They always did. They always came and had a go at United. I always think Leeds players, maybe and their supporters, probably silly of them to think they were as big as Man United. Obviously they're not. <laughs> but they would always come and have a go. I'd give them that. You'd always be up for obviously a physical battle. Always tense. Obviously a lot of rivalry with the supporters. A lot of hatred there. And. Uh, was brilliant. Consistency, can he do it week in, week out? His interview, he came across really well there, obviously. His stuff about Mickey probably needs to be drug tested for that. <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> there are no words for that. It's a rugby tackle. It's a rugby tackle. <laughs> there, is yeah. a, there is a word, Jim. It's madness. Yeah, here you go. Madness. I've, I've, I want to be careful what I say about his defender. <laughs> Listen, I've been on this road before with him. What would he be thinking in that position to try and... He, he wasn't thinking. ...win the ball, try and get there? He, wasn't, the well, he, he doesn't think. This lad doesn't doesn't think. It, it can happen, Roy. It not can happen. It was, it was it was daft and it was crazy defending to take the gamble. But then it's the second part when he dangles his leg in there. He know, he knows he's going to give away a penalty. And and I've watched I've watched him over the years. I think he's got that in his locker. He's got that daftness. He can make idiotic decisions. And when when he when he compounded his first mistake with the second one, I I was stood up. I wasn't that bit surprised. We talk about Everton. They've beaten Spurs. Lots of teams have beat Spurs. They beat West Brom, who were down to 10 men. They were fortunate with the handball, so let's not get too giddy about everything. <laughs> Have you ever been giddy about anything? <laughs> You've got to be giddy when he's... Yeah, Liverpool, <laughs> not Liverpool. I like Liverpool, I think they're outstanding. <laughs> big personality, big character. Um, so tough, yeah, Tough guy as well. Y no, Peter was a, a decent guy. <laughs> he, he was a decent guy. Listen, I had a, I had a bust up. Sometimes, I, I've, I've said it before, when you have a bust up with a teammate, sometimes it's good, it kind of clears the air. Um, but Listen, we were we were we were fairly okay afterwards. How many rounds did it go? Uh, no, it wasn't that long, really. No, listen, there was obviously alcohol involved. But no, we didn't. <laughs> Strange enough, if you look at Liverpool at the start of the season, you'd be going, listen, they've been sloppy against Leeds. Okay, done well against Chelsea, sloppy again tonight. Did I did I hear right that Mr. Keane said um, we had a sloppy performance tonight? No, only by, because I could hear you already. Did he say that? Well, I, I think he <laughs> I think he said there were oh, some sure. aspects that were. Roy, would you like to say? No, I think they gave up one or two opportunities, which did, they'll be disappointed. But that? Does that three work then for you, as a, as a three with, with Beckham tucked in there? Yeah, I'm just worried where we're going to fit the other United lads in. We've got Giggsy. Mm. Giggs is not going in my team. Oh, gee. Re <laughs> really? <laughs> no? It's... Well, I've got, I've got a front three. <laughs> just dropped that bombshell and moved on. It's not, I'm I, I love Ryan Gibbs. I'm, I'm judging him on, not judging him over his career, but judging him on the 99 season. Yeah. yeah. Do you know how many goals he scored that season? Four. Is that enough for you to get in that team? No, but there's a bit of... There's... OK, let's get to my front three. And the line Gary used to use was Manchester United used to have the best in class in terms of players, owners and manager. You can't sit here and let's be honest about it and say Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is what the best in class or the best manager Manchester United could get. But certainly at this moment with the squad that they've got, they probably can't do it. Yeah, I mean, you say, you, you say Pep's the best, one of the best coaches in the world. What did he do in his first year, his first year at Manchester City? One of the greatest coaches around, a messiah. What did he do in Man City? Well, he his finished first in the year. Champions League. Finishing the Champions League, and that's good enough for the best coach in the world, you're thinking. Finishing the well, Champions League. First year in league, and then, and then he brought the And then he backs. brought some players in. Yeah. Exactly. He even, he, even he had to sit back and go, he had to go to Man City and say, I need some players. Mm -hmm. I, need to, I need to get four full backs into the football club. Who was the biggest spenders in the summer? I'm going to have a guess. Man United? Yeah. Yeah. But I make the point, the recruitment has been up to it. That can't who be just down to Ali. Who's deciding who's bringing the, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Who was bringing the players in when David Moyes was there? Who was bringing the players in when Van Gaal was there? I don't know the structure of the club. Clearly, that's not working because they're getting 
recruitment can be hit and miss, but they're getting far too many well, wrong. Those managers you're talking about before, I'm worried about the, the season not finished yet. Man United still finish fourth, and then we might go. You know what? You finish fourth, mm. okay? We give Ali the benefit of the doubt. Season's not over yet. I love Ryan Giggs, one of the greats of the Premier League history, longevity, all that playing till 40. I don't think I probably one stage he was probably ever the best in that position. You may disagree, you, you know him better than me, but I actually think the numbers Mane's getting now are a lot more than what Giggs was getting But Jamie, in that the, the key to greatness is to be consistent. Giggs, he done it year in, year out. And but sometimes you might have the odd season where he mightn't be a 10 out of 10, but you're on about that season. It's about if, uh, big games. Look what Giggs he done in the semi-final. Tell me another player on this Planet could have done that. What he done well, against Arsenal? If he was playing that well, why was he sub? Because there was rotation. Because Jesper Blancas was behind him. That's Jesper what wins your big trust. Yeah, he was a very, very good player. Excellent you put player. Him in. No, he doesn't quite make this team. But you need a squad to win the big trophy. You're aware of that, don't you? Oh, yeah. Well aware, it's yeah. not just about eleven. That's why yeah. Liverpool rotate their players. That's why they didn't want to play in the FA Cup. Rest and rotation. They got three, and we had to do it. Yeah. Let's hope they win three trophies this year. Yeah. Are we, are we there? Yeah. Sorry. You missed the final, didn't you? I was suspended. Yeah. I know. Yeah. That's that was discipline. Injured. <laughs> I, was just, I was injured. Yeah. I got injured. I did. I got the injured in the cup final. Yeah. So you're putting gigs in? Yeah. Instead of Mane? Yeah. On the back of scoring three goals and two assists? No, but like I said to you, the key to me is to be a consistent player. But Mane's career hasn't finished. You can't judge Mane yeah, on his exactly. career. Exactly, no, but I've got loyalty towards Giggs. I don't know Mane. Probably more often than not, when Manchester United are buying players, I don't think we're all sitting there thinking, he's a bad player. I can't believe they've signed him. What about the previous managers over the last few years? Are you saying they're all bad managers? At Manchester United? Yeah, Marino. Do you think they've done good jobs? Marino. You slaughtered Mourinho when he was in the job? I think he, but he needed more time. He needed more time? Yeah. You had to give Mourinho more yeah, time? Absolutely. On the back of the performance his CV, here last year? Absolutely. That's the name yeah, of the game. The CV. We, question, we question all, he's not up to it. Look at his CV. But yeah, for some reason, other managers go to clubs and they're given the benefit of the doubt. Probably the CV gives them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, Frank Lampard's at Chelsea. I saw Chelsea last night. He's been in the job six yeah, months. And I'd say the same, give him time. Give Ali a bit of time. How long's Ali been in the job? Or is it 18 months, just over 12 months? Is it that months? long? I don't think it's 18 months. Last Jamie. defeat here was, well, that's Can we find out, find out how long's job. Ali been in the job? It was, it was the defeat here at Old Trafford, wasn't it, for Jose Mourinho that did it's it? Not 18 December months, is it? of December 18th. 16. 16 months. Give the man a chance. I watched Chelsea last night. Chelsea, decent team. They couldn't get the job done. Frank Lampard's lost eight games. But for some reason, Hey, Frank's doing all right. Frank, maybe because he's English. I don't know. Well, he's a well, Frank's, yeah, he's right. no transfer Frank's, window, right. yeah. Frank's track record. CV went to Derby, didn't get promoted. But Frank's, Frank's got all the answers for Chelsea. He hasn't. But you well, give him time. Yeah, I'd say give the man time. I completely agree. It's nothing to do with Ollie and all this carry on. Yeah. Give him a time. And the three previous managers before Ollie, are you telling me they don't know what the game is about, Jamie? They know what the game is about. David so Moyes. who's the problem? David Moyes. Tell David me Moyes. what the problem David is Moyes Manchester is United. Six, David Moyes was given a six-year uh, six contract. Alex Ferguson on the pitch going, so you'd have kept get behind the manager, back him. Would you have I would have given him a bit Moyes? more time. Not would eight you have months. Given the six years not then? eight months, and I wouldn't have sacked him on Twitter. 